Okay, so last week some of your classmates asked me a few questions um, that included you know, how to change a menu from being vertical to horizontal and so on. So I thought, oh yeah, you know, those little kind of modifications, they might be useful. And today I want to show you um, how to change to a different editor. You might find it useful, you might not find it useful. Um, I'll, I'll give you a little um, look here, how, what the difference is. I'll show you the difference. Um, so this is one of the articles we wrote last time. Uh, and here we get our default editor that lets us do all sorts of things. But uh, there are lots of other editors you know, that, that can be installed. Some are more interesting if you want to code, if you want to put any sort of programming code in there. Um, it's especially useful because you, you can you can define little little areas on your CMS where you can put basically HTML code indirectly. Um, so yeah, some, some other editors are created for other purposes, but a very popular one in any case is JCE. So I go to inst to extensions, manage install. Uh, I search for JCE, and here it is. Yeah, it has a good uh, review, 96 out of 100 points, 527 reviews award-winning configurable WYSIWYG editor. You know, what you see is what you get. So, yeah, this sounds quite good. So, I want to install it. So, I click on install. Yeah, install. Now, what we do here is we just install it. it that we don't really tell the system yet which one we want to use. Uh, so, installation was successful. Um, now I go to system. Uh, oh yeah, L let's let's go to the article again to see that it still looks the way it did before. Uh, so this is still the editor we, we, we saw earlier. So I go to global configuration, and here I can specify what the default editor is. Uh, so now I pick JCE, save and close. Yeah. And theoretically, you know, you can you can configure your system so that there are different editors being used under different circumstances. Okay. Let's have a look at the article. Yeah, and you can see it looks different. And yeah, th this is a very popular uh, editor, and it has a few. It has a few uh, functions available that, that you don't get in the default editor. There, there are lots of things you can install. The question always is what makes sense for you to install for your CMS. So uh, if you've got an idea what you want to do for your CMS, it might be a good idea if you can if, if you you know let me know and we can talk about your idea. We can talk about what what needs to be done to your idea so that it, it can get you a good grade. Okay. Yeah, any questions, please ask.